they started blasting music in the center and, and they're blasting it the loudest it's ever been in the mall. No one can even hear each other. That's straight up demonic. They're definitely trying to go against worship. They never played music like this at Millennium Mall. They did it on purpose. There is power in the name of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news. It's the power of God. You must be born again in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. It turns out this isn't the first time some of these people have been banned from a mall, but they think they should be able to hold their prayer services anywhere. Lorenzo, here's your trespass warning. Please don't ever come back to this property. So we need to enter the mall from three different parts and meet in the center where we're going to sing, right? If Richard or I get stopped, they're not going to stop you. Our faces are on the flyer. So if Richard or I get stopped, find the middle of the mall from each angle and start singing. Because what that's going to do is they're going to have to come to us in order to quote unquote shut everyone up, right? Because that's, that's how they think. I've done this multiple times. And when we come, we're going to come and join and worship. So... Um, this is what I, what, but this, this is the worst case scenario because I've done this, right? But right now, so far in the spirit, everything feels very clear and it feels like God is completely protecting us from this. Yeah. So, and at the end, we're going to do an altar call. So there might be people here right now that want to give their life to Christ or might need prayer. You can come to the front. The altar is going to be the middle of the, the mall. And then, um, also uh, there's going to be people that are going to watch. And after I preach the gospel, uh, the good news, right? Yeah. It's the power of God on the salvation. You need the gospel. Uh, I believe people are going to come to the front and there's going to be an altar call. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but demons might be casted out. People are going to get healed. There's going to be miracles. So if you've never seen that, you'll see it today. It's going to be good. And the goal is to do what? Win souls, right? Yeah. And why are we worshiping? Because the Bible is very clear about the presence of God. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's what? Freedom. Freedom. So, you know, like 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 Moses said, what he's saying um Exodus 33. Let your spirit go. Let your spirit, your presence go before him. He didn't want to go anywhere without the presence of God. He said, reveal yourself unto me. Show me your glory. So God's gonna reveal himself. The Father's gonna reveal himself today. He's gonna show his glory. The presence is gonna be thick. I want you guys to just worship again, like Jimmy said, go in there strategic. We don't want to go in like grouped up. You know in the Bible when Jesus sent out the 70, how were they sent out? In twos. In twos. So I definitely believe, um, Jimmy, you got, I don't know if you already said this, twos, right? Twos, threes, fours. We should do that now. The new news is there is police set up all over the mall what? and security. So, okay. So we're going to have to go last and everyone's going to go individually where it's like regular. Okay. So now I want you guys to group up in small groups. So Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Yahweh, that we all came together. You orchestrated this, Lord. This is your will. This is, this is what you want. So Father, I pray that the security and the police will just be so touched by your presence, Lord, that they'll want to join us in worship, that we'll have the grace to continue all the way to the altar call. Lord, we pray against right now every principality, power, ruler of darkness, and spiritual wickedness that's coming against this. We just bind up every unclean spirit, Lord, Lord, with the authority that you've given us in Luke 10, 19. And we thank you that the angels are already ready, Lord. Today is going to be your day, Lord, to glorify your son, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we pray that you have your way today. Thank you, Lord. Draw them all onto us as we lift up the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray and the church says together. Amen. And the church says together. Amen. Hey, we are the church. <laughs> In this last hour, the devil does not want souls to be saved. It's a, it's a war for souls. We're here to save souls and the angels are working with us. The devil is the demons and their people are there to take souls to hell. These witches and warlocks don't even know they're working for the enemy. That's why it's our job to come and go and pull them out. Tell them about a better side, the right side, the good side, heaven side. Yeah, bro, God is doing a big, a big work, a mighty work. Billions will be saved. Billions with a B. This is gonna go down for, in history. People are gonna watch this hundreds of years from now and remember what, what happened today. And what's going to happen in Cali, New York, we're going to hey, all around the world, bro. It's a movement. It's a Jesus revolution. Yes.
So they just blasted, mu they started blasting music in the center and every all the security went to the center and they're like standing around there and they're blasting it the loudest it's ever been in the mall. No one can even hear each other. That's straight up demonic. They're, they're, I don't know what they're playing in there, but they're definitely trying to go against worship. I need to get y'all like a like a beard beard hat. <laughs> a, a beard hat. hat. <laughs> Half of your beard. So I'm assuming this is not there. They never play music like this at Millennium Mall. They did it on purpose. The artist is actually a really nice guy. Wow. The, the, it's demonic that they're doing this to counteract the music of worship. Karen's on the phone, Karen's on the phone.
Hey, let me, let me tell you guys something. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news. It's the power of God on to salvation. And it's for anybody. Look, you must be born again in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ is God. He came down in a human vessel for us. He was perfect unto death. He overcame death and he overcame sin when he died on the cross and shed his blood. A perfect sacrifice that reconciles us back to our Father. He redeems us through his blood. But you must be born again. The only way to be born again is by repenting and believing the gospel. If you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord, your master, and you believe by his blood, he's washed away all your sins because the wages of sin is death. One sin sent you to hell, but Jesus came to give us eternal life. And it's only through faith in his blood. There's people here right now. There's people here right now that don't, that don't understand the gospel, never, never did. You were raised in the church and you thought going to church on Sunday would save you. But today, God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to fill you with his spirit. I was in witchcraft, drug dealing. My brother was in Hollywood seeing the satanic agenda. We've seen it all, money, fame, cars, women. None of that gave us fulfillment. But I'm telling you, there's one who can fulfill you, and that's Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're doing an altar call right here, right now. If you need healing, if you need deliverance from demons, you can receive it right now. There's people right now, even in this crowd, that you've been living a lukewarm lifestyle, saying that you're a Christian, but living in willing for sin, which is iniquity. And God wants to free you right now. I have faith that right now the Spirit is convicting some people. If you want to give your life to Christ, come to the middle right now. Even if you're around here right now, and we're going to pray for you. Come to the middle. He's calling you. If you feel that tug on your heart, come right to the middle and we're going to pray for you. Even if you're all the way up there right now, you can come down here and receive the gospel in the, in the middle of Millennium Mall. And you can receive the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you, it's the best thing you could ever do. He saved my life. Girl in the purple right there. God is calling you into relationship with him. Your mother's a prayer warrior. And God wants to save you. And even you too, bro. Come down. Come down. Come down. Are you living are you living for Christ? Do you have a relationship with Christ? Yes. I'm telling you, he loves you. And he wants relationship, not religion. So anybody right now that wants to give their life to Christ, come to the middle. We're going to pray. Come on. Raise your hand if you want to give your life to Christ. Come on. Come to the middle. You already have. Raise your hand. Come to the middle. You want to give your life to Christ? Wow. You want to give your life to Christ too? Yeah. Wow. 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 How old are you? You're five. And how old are you? Eight. And eight. And I'm going to tell you something. There's more right here in this crowd. Do you want to give your life to Christ, my brother? Who wants to? Raise your hand. You want to give your life to Christ? Yeah, bro, you. You want to give your life to Christ? Hallelujah. Come on. There's some more. We're going to pray for you. This is not just going to be a repeat after me prayer. This is going to be real. Real. And the Holy Spirit is going to fill your heart. And you're going to, you're going to know that you have the power of God in you to change. You guys ready? We're going to pray for you right now. Lay hands on them. Because the Lord showed me you guys earlier that you guys have a call obviously in business and God's gonna take you to higher realms that you were that you even seen in the world in the world you've seen money you've seen success but God's gonna take you even higher for his kingdom he's gonna teach you to not be greedy he's gonna teach you that it's not money he's gonna bless you more than ever because he's gonna know he can trust you with the finances to fund the kingdom kingdom finances right here so father thank you Lord I want all of you you too and you too say this say Jesus I accept you into my heart right now I believe that you're my Lord, you're my master, that you saved me by shedding your blood. I confess all my sins right now and they're washed. I'm forgiven no matter what I've done in the past. You forget it all right now. You not only died on the cross, 
you were buried and you rose from the dead say you rose from the dead on the third day I repent of my sin of my worldly ways and I turn to you for forgiveness I forgive anyone who's backstabbed me who's hurt me I release forgiveness say Jesus fill me with your spirit right now in Jesus name all right, I'm going to pray. We're going to lay hands on your heart because that's where the Spirit fills you and circumcises you in your heart. Mother, put your hand on your daughter's heart. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you pray in the Holy Ghost. There's people here that need deliverance from demons. If you need deliverance from demonic oppression, come to the front now and make a way for them. Come. If you've been dealing with depression and suicide, raise your hand if that's you. If you've been dealing with depression, suicide, if you've been dealing with addiction to drugs, God can free you right now supernaturally, instantly. Come to the front, we're going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Who needs healing in the body? Raise your hand if you need healing. Come here to the front, we're going to pray for healing. We're going to pray. Let, 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 let this be the altar here right now. I'm proud of you. High five. Amen. Where do you need healing, woman of God? Eczema. What do you need healing? I've been writing off on the digestive system. Digestive. Anybody else need healing? Amen. What do you need healing? In your mind. I'm going to pray for you. Anybody else need healing? Heart also. You need healing. Do you want to give your life to Christ? You want to give your life to Christ? Hallelujah! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Deacon Estio right here. She's going to you to Christ. You're about to, get, you're about to get filled with the Holy Spirit and deliver from anything you need deliverance from. They got a crazy agenda going on now where little girls can say they're boys and boys can say they're girls. It's demonic and the devil is stealing our children. He's stealing God's children and he's using them for his satanic agenda. I'm telling you, we got to stand up. You don't have to be a Christian to know what's going on right now. It's going crazy. It's the end of times. If God can use us to come to the middle of them all, he's calling you. You don't need designer. Look, you can have those things. That's fine. That won't fulfill you. Shopping won't fulfill you. Money will not fulfill you. The only one who can fulfill you is Jesus Christ. So again, now's the time. Come down. We brought the church to the mall. That's it. I'm gonna pray for you guys' healing. I want you guys, who else? Yeah, you see that? You just got touched by, you just got touched by God. Hallelujah. So right now, what's the pain level one through 10? What can you feel right now? It's been, I've been ill for years. I've been sick for years. I know okay. you can't see it. I just ignore it, but it's, I cover my body because of it. Because of it. Yeah. What about you? Years, autoimmune. Autoimmune. Years. Years. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you something. Usually when it's autoimmune, it comes from a spirit of rejection. Wow. Because you dealt with that, didn't you? My entire life. Been rejected by family, by friends. Right. Always getting rejected. Is it the same thing with you? And did you ever deal, you guys ever deal with alcohol addiction? Yes. Lord delivered in others, not myself. But, uh, People in your life? Yeah. In myself. I want you guys to do this. Say, I renounce. I renounce. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. Say, I break the generational curse. I break, I break the, the generational curse. In my bloodline. In my bloodline. Say, Lord, free me. Lord, free me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pastor Benjamin. Come here too, my brother. Come on, Thank come you. Here. We're going to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, right now, Lord, I command every spirit of infirmity to loose from them in the name of Jesus Christ to leave. Father, we break every altar of rejection, any witchcraft in the bloodline, we break it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Come out of here. Everything leaves. Everything leaves today. Lord, you want to use them? The I don't mean we're not kill them. Lord, I pray that you begin to show them how real you are for this healing. The Bible says, it says in the Bible that he heals you in your sickness. In your sick bed, he'll heal you. So Lord, I pray in their sick bed, right now in their sickness, you heal them miraculously. And you show them their salvation. You show them your salvation on time. You show them the prosperity that they have in Christ. Not only financial, but also healing. Father God, by your strike, by the Son, Jesus, the Christ, the man God, Incarnate Jesus Christ by his stripes we are healed and he bore all our sins and sickness in his body on the cross So right now Lord, I pray that you fully heal him in Jesus name. Amen It's gonna manifest now It already is done It's already done. I've seen this in the church many times people with many diseases come and get completely healed and they were dealing with their entire life. I was born with it. I've, I've seen people born with diseases here. Wow. Too many times. <laughs> Watch. Thank you. Watch. Thank okay? You. Anybody else need prayer for healing? Come up. Come up. 
Why do you need healing? She's been sexually assaulted? Okay. By other kids. Who By other kids. What about you? Did you deal with the same thing when you were little? I did not, but dealing with her. Are you her grandmother or mother? Mother. I'm going to pray for you. Is your hand? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. First and foremost, every unclean spirit that came in through any sexual assault, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her. Leave her. She's a woman of God. Even at her age, she gave her life to Christ. Lord, I thank you for the healing that you're doing right now in her body. Thank you, Father, that she forgives. You forgive everyone who hurts you. you forgive them. Say, I forgive you. Everyone who hurts you. And any unclean spirit that's been following her, causing this. Right now, your cord, your chain is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. It's done. You're not going to see it happening anymore. There's a spirit that followed you generationally who's trying to cause this. And it's not just since she's little, it's going to try to, it's going to, try to do it when she's older, but it just got broken. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need prayer for healing? Where do you have pain? Depression. Depression. Okay, I'm going to pray for you alone. Can I pray for you? A lot of times, the children are dealing with demonic spirits because of the parents. So I want you to come over here. Let it go for one second. Because I know you're a Christian, but you can still need deliverance. You want that? All right. You put your bag down. I want you to say this. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I forgive. I forgive. You need to forgive. Who do you need to forgive? Family, friends, people who hurt my baby. Okay, release forgiveness. Say, I release forgiveness. I release forgiveness. For the pain they caused. For the pain they caused. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Deliver me. Deliver me. I come here right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands down. Don't worry. Don't be nervous. Any unclean spirit of depression, suicide, anything that came into anger, I even see her being angry at people. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave. I bind that spirit that's causing torment. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her in Jesus' name. Leave. 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 Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Leave her stomach. At least put your hand on her stomach. Any unclean spirit in her stomach, I command you to come up and come out now. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Leave all depression and suicide that's been tormenting her since she was young. In Jesus' name, I command you to come out and go to the abyss. I bind every strong man. Every strong man that's causing this demonic oppression. And I command you to loose from her soul. Loose from her flesh. Full healing and deliverance right now. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Out. All the way to the abyss. Remotia. Fear go to. The fear, the fear of being unworthy, of not being a good mother. In Jesus' name, I break that lie off of her. I break that lie off of her. She is a good mother. She is raising her child in the faith. When she gets older, she will not depart. She's a great mother, Lord, and you've ordained her to be the mother of this child since before the foundations of the earth. So in Jesus' name, every lie that's spoken into her spirit, every word curse, I uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. It breaks today. Lord, may the shalom peace of God fill her. And bless her, Lord, and thank you for her obedience. No one's perfect, but thank you that she's been obedient to confess, to continue to walk this walk out, Lord. Thank you for the release of that spirit, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Lord, God. Hallelujah. We need prayer for what? What do you need prayer for? I, I also get uh, my uh, combat and my back. You have back pain. Did you come here to shop? Or you came here for this event? Did you know about this happening? No. So you didn't know about this happening? So the Lord brought you here to the, to the scene, to the worship. That's the Lord. Where are you from? I'm from here. I live from here? Orlando. What's your ethnicity? Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yes. And the pain's in your back right now. Before I pray for you, then now tell me what the pain is, one through ten. Um, one through ten, what's the pain? That's one. Uh, eight. It's an eight out of ten. After I pray for you, I want you to rate it again. I don't want you to lie. I want you to be honest. Okay? Melise, put your hand on the back. Is that where the pain is? Show her where the pain is. The Lord's about to completely heal you. Do you need, do you need to forgive an ex-husband? Do you need to forgive an ex-husband? You do. He hurts you. I want you to release that forgiveness to him because if you don't, the pain will stay. It's bitterness. Do you want to release forgiveness to him? It's spiritual. What's his name? Luke. Huh? Luke. Luke? Say Jesus. Jesus. I forgive you. I forgive you. Also, do you need to give your life to Christ? I did. A long time ago. A long time ago. And when you did, you did, did you really surrender to God? You really been walking it out in Christ, for Christ. Alright. Say Jesus, I forgive you. Jesus, I forgive you. I pray, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you heal my back. In Jesus' name. Put your hand over here. Right now, everyone put your hand up. We command. According to your word, with one or two agree on one thing, every word is established in heaven. We command the back to be made whole right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
be made whole. And any unclean spirit that's been attached to us flying through unforgiveness, we command you to loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose. Back to made whole in the name of Jesus. Right now, all pain go to zero. Everyone say, we command. We command. All pain. All pain. To go to zero. To Luke 10, 19. So we have authority. We have authority. In Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bend down and tell me what the pain is now. Try it out. Woo! Um, good. What? Yes. Um, What's I the pen? One to ten now. Um, ten. One more time. One more time. Let, 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 let me go down one more time. Because it's hard for me to bend down like that. Like, oh. so, so go ahead. Woo. You couldn't do that before. What's the thing now? Um, Be honest. Pen, yes. The pen now. I feel like three or four. Three. One more time. One more. Pray. You know, Jesus prayed twice for a man that was blind. You ready? It's about to go. Down. I know you're not blind. <laughs> but I'm We're gonna pray for you now again. Everyone, put your hand up. All right. Say this. Say Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Say I believe. I believe. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Everyone, put your hand up. We command. We command. The pain to go to zero. The pain to go to zero. By the stripes. By the stripes. That Jesus took. That Jesus took. We are healed. We are healed. Pain go to zero. Pain go to zero. Amen. Try it out. Be honest, please, woman of God. Be honest. Don't lie. Don't lie for anybody. Two hands. Touch the ground. Hey! What's the pain now? The pain now, maybe two. It went from a three to a two. Yeah. You want another prayer? One last one. I, I believe he healed me. I believe that. So you went from an eight to a two? Yes. And you're not lying? No, I'm not. Did we hire you as an actor? <laughs> I never met you, right? No. So you're doing the ball soccer? Yes. Yes. Pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, make her whole. Lord, I pray that as she's living any lukewarm lifestyle, Lord, that she'll come out of it. That she'll come to true obedience to your word, Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fill her, Father, and fully heal her, Lord. Thank you for this miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, God bless you too, brother. <laughs> Anybody else want prayer? Anybody else need prayer for healing and deliverance? All right, praise God. Look at this. Look at the favor we have, man. We didn't even get stuck. Anybody else want prayer? I'm telling you, now's the time. You want prayer? Did you come here to shop? No, I just came here. You came for the event. What do you need prayer for? Anything the Lord puts in your heart. Anything the Lord puts on my, on my heart? Do you, do you know who I am? I watch you on YouTube. Yeah. You too? Okay. <laughs> All right, come over here. I'm praying for you. You need your son. He's okay. He's protected. I like, I like Frappuccinos too. All right. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any brokenness she has, any, not brokenness, trauma, any trauma that she has through any relationship, Lord, they might see her. Father, I pray right now. Have you been feeling like something's been attacking your mind? Yeah, yeah. Mental attacks that get you tired, sleepy, slothful? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Like... I work a lot, so I get sleepy naturally. You work a lot, so you get sleepy naturally. You know it's not, like, you know in Christ it gives you strength. Yeah, I do. Jesus prayed all night for a reason, because the Father gave him strength. Do you get randomly tired, like, just come off the bottom like a weight? Yeah, I guess, I guess. Like a weight, right? I'm going to pray the weight off you. You know how you break the, the, the heaviness on your back? But the Bible says to praise. By praising the Lord. Do you praise God? Yes. Regularly? Worship is different than praise. You praise God. Okay. And how's the relationship with his father? Good. Where's your pussy at? It's working. Amen. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. You're praying for salvation. What's his name? Nicholas. Let's pray for Nicholas. Okay. I'll lay hands on you because you're one in the flesh with your husband. With your husband. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for Nicholas, Lord. Everyone, let's pray. We pray for the salvation of Nicholas, that he'll be saved, Lord. The Bible says, why would you leave the unbelieving spouse? Do not know that your light will bring them out of the darkness. So, Lord, as this prayer warrior prays and worships, and the enemy tries to attack them with heaviness, Father, I pray that you would lift it off every time she praises your holy name. Lord, that you would give her a special grace to praise, even in times of tribulation. Remind her that the angels minister to her, serve her, Lord, and ministering balls of fire that are sent for the heirs of salvation, the us, to receive it because of Christ. So, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, all heaviness leave. And Nicholas is already saved. 
be saved. Let it happen in the physical now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you, man. I just want to say thank you guys for coming. We had God's favor. I'm going to be very blunt. A few times there was worship manipulation with the loud music playing, but we worshiped louder and it had to get turned down. It was very demonic, but God prevailed through it as he always does. And we must always exalt Yeshua HaMashiach to the highest form in everything we do. As an artist, I was in the music industry for 10 years, and I started off as a songwriter, then going into the pop world, hip hop world, and I realized that a lot of the artists that we allow our children to listen to worship the devil, and are putting out and praying over the songs that they release, and, and not praying for good, not praying to God, not praying to Jesus, but they're actually putting curses on those songs. And it's very important that everybody knows this. It's very important that we are mindful of what we allow our children to listen to. Because yes, in the music industry, sadly, it's very black and white. Because why? Satan was the angel of music. And as the angel of music, he wanted the glory. So he would sing and he would worship because he was so beautiful. And he wanted to bring all of God's angels to him. And that is what a lot of these artists in the music industry try to do with us, God's children. And from now on, from this point on, and I, I have been in the last two years, thank God, I will always bring people to God using my music. And if you are an artist upcoming, don't let this industry get to you and make you think that you have to be talking about the evil things in order to become successful. That discredits the power of God. I've had number one songs in Jesus' name, and that is all by Him. And we must keep our humility with the blessings He gives us. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We out, guys. We got to run out of here. Just kidding. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cover, cover, but come from the left. I'll show you. They were actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> Besides the, the manipulation of the music, which was demonic, I the know. security was very nice. I just want to say thank you for blessing us with this opportunity. Here's your trespass warning. Please don't ever come back to this property. All right, thank you, man. Okay. 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 Please don't ever come back to this property. All right. Thank you. thank you. Have a good day. I appreciate you. Of course. I appreciate the grace for real. I served, I served seven years in the military. Which branch? Navy. Air Thank, you for, Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. You've been in the military too? No, no military for me. Still in service though. Not quite the same as military. So Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right. Right. Buckshot, buckshot. <laughs> it's the beginning of many malls. Wait, just the thumbnail, wait. I guess we gotta go to Florida Mall now. Oh. Hey, Florida Mall's anointed though. <laughs> hey, Florida Mall got, got Zara, so I like Florida Mall better. <laughs> I'm a Miss Nina though. I'm gonna miss design. I'm gonna miss Neiman, bro. We got, we got to go somewhere else to get some, some design, I guess. I didn't yeah, do it. No, no, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like a Nick. We got it. We got a Nick on the phone. Hey, so we went inside of Millennium Mall. We worshipped. My brother was able to get through all the songs plus more. We brought the speaker out with the microphone, the S1 Bose, super loud, to preach the gospel. While we were doing worship, though, they turned up the uh, the music in the mall. And there was like it was like witches with fire doing all types of rituals. It was crazy. Like they turned up the volume on purpose to try to drown out the worship. But the, the, the Holy Spirit took over. People at the top on the second floor were worshiping with us. Everyone was surrounding around. People that were just walking by came and joined us, got prayer for healing. People gave their life to Christ. People got the one lady got deliverance. I mean, like this is all in the mall. So what what did you experience, my brother? I I felt it right away, the Holy Spirit and and I saw the second that they started making it louder, it was like a, they were trying to manipulate the worship. You know, that was a form of witchcraft. But, you know, God's children's voices overpowered that. And, you know, they ha even had to turn it down, I noticed. They know, did. They ended up turning it down because, you know, they, they couldn't <laughs> handle it. They couldn't handle the smoke. You know? <laughs> I believe this is, he's already, my brother's already done it in an Aventura. That was the first time, right? Uh, yeah. And this is the second time? This is the fourth time. Fourth time. Because I did other places. But other places? Second mall. Second mall. Oh yeah, I know you've done other places, but second mall, right? Second mall. I believe this movement is going to be uh, it's revolutionary. I believe it's going to go around the world, and people are going to be worshiping the Lord in spirit and truth, not only at the mall, everywhere. 
Because when you, wherever you worship the Lord, heavenly portals literally open. And when the heavenly portals open, the angels fight. So in the spirit realm, people don't know they're walking by and angels are actually being assigned to them as they walk by. It's extremely spiritual. We can't even see everything that's going on. We only see a, a bit. We prophesy in part, we see in part. So, man, glory be to God. I believe we're going to keep, like, like I said, keep doing this around, around Florida and the U.S. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and definitely then. <laughs> hey, it's crazy, bro. Get, 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 dealing with cop issues in Christ. I dealt with it in the world, bro. That's yeah. what it is. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you like this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click the description down below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner we appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations partnering with us in prayer and financially we thank you so much and also those who partner with us liking the video commenting down below clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family we thank you the gospel is being spread throughout the nations people are getting saved delivered and healed the lord jesus christ is being glorified thank you for all our partners in jesus name